In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use the CWR Sync wizard to perform a local copy. You would perform a local copy, for example, if you want to move massive amounts of files, or rather if you want to copy massive amounts of files, for example, from one drive to another. Once you select the wizard, you choose the source and the destination folder and then start setting options. You can choose to recurse directories, you can choose to delete unwanted files, you can um, create backups of, of replaced files. In this particular case, I've just increased the verbosity, how much information the tool gives. Now, the wizard, what it basically does is it translates the, your settings, your options, into uh, instructions, into a, an rsync command. And you have the option, as I will demonstrate now, to save these instructions as a batch file. Likewise, the settings of the wizard itself, um, they are referred to as profiles, can be saved. In my particular case, I am adding the extension CWRSync to um, the name of, of, of the profile. This will allow you to load the profile and modify it and change it as, as the case may be. Now, once you've done, you've finished with the wizard, what you need to do is run the batch file. In this particular case, I'm showing you quickly the batch file that was created by the utility. Likewise, these are the settings of the profile. In a next video, I will demonstrate, we'll have a closer look at the batch file that was created. Now, I'm calling up the utility, I'm loading my profile, profile I just saved, and I'm going to execute the batch file. Once I run that, you will notice that the files are copied from one place to another. Do take note, um, I'll be dealing this in a future video, that the source, the actual source folder is copied. So we've added one layer da down in the destination folder. Now what I'm doing here is I'm highlighting the flaw that I've not yet managed to solve with the CWRC. Even though the files are copied in Windows, it seems, um, the security settings are not replicated correctly and as you can see you can see the um, properties of the folder ssh in both the source and the destination you will notice that for example authenticated users in the source had a number of pro permissions which are not replicated in the destination This is something that is an inconvenience but can be changed. What you need to do is go into the advanced options, select those um, permissions you want to replicate and set or check the options to replicate from parent to subfolders. As you will see, once I've done that, the copied file will open and be viewable. If any of you have information on how this can be addressed, um, please send me a, a message, you know, and I would be more than happy to create um, a video with the correct procedure. 